السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل اینڈ آئی ہوپ یو آل ووڈ بی فائن ان دا پریویس ویڈیوز آئی ڈسکرائب ہاؤ ٹو رن این این ایم آر کیلکولیشن یوزنگ گوزگن اینڈ دین ان دا نیکسٹ ویڈیو آئی آلسو ٹول یو ہاؤ ٹو یوز ڈفرینٹ ریفرنس اسٹینڈرڈس فار دی این ایم آر ناؤ دیر از این ادر پرابلم وین یو ہیو اے فلیکسیبل مالیکیولس اینڈ اٹ it can adopt many different conformations in the solution form then you have to take uh, in account all the possible conformations in their nmr as well so for like for this kind of compound uh, where there are uh, single bonds and that are freely rotatable this uh, molecule can adopt different conformations in the uh, solution form and if we want to get its nmr we have to take all those conformations into account we cannot simply take the nmr of this one and compare it to the experimental one rather we have to take uh, first do a conformational analysis and then select the low energy conformations and then run the nmr of all those conformations for example uh, you can see that i have these uh, six different conformations of a, of the same molecule and uh, uh, let's have a look we can see this is one and then another one so if we check these conformations uh, you can see that they may have a difference in this bond or or a bond angle of uh, this might be different from one another and uh, if we open different one you can see that uh, different conformations uh, they have different shapes and the nmr of all of these must be taken in account to get uh, the real nmr data and what we do is we take the nmr of all these conformations and then uh, do an averaging of that nmr that is called as boltzmann averaging Uh, we don't do simple averaging we do boltzmann averaging that also takes into account the energies of the these molecules so the lowest the energy the more contribution towards the real structure and higher the energy lesser the contribution but when you have many different conformation this is very simple case where we have uh, selected only six conformation sometimes you might end up with uh, like 50 or hundreds of conformations of a molecule if the molecule is big and it has many rotatable bonds then in that case it is very difficult for you to write down the nmr data like what is the real procedure if we look at the nmr for example i want uh, the hydrogen nmr or the carbon nmr and uh, let's have a look at carbon nmr and if i show the shieldings in view here so now you can see that uh, the different carbon atom have different nmr values and if i also show the labels now you can have a look that the atom number 28 has a shielding tensor of 48.58 similarly atom number 23 has a shielding tensor of 43.84 and so on so if you want to write down all of these uh, shielding tensors with the atom numbers and not for one molecule you have to do it for many different conformations so it's a difficult job to do and uh, there is no uh, unfortunately there is no shortcut or automatic way of doing this but uh, fortunately enough uh, i have uh, made a python script that can go through all of your uh, conformers files and it can read and uh, extract the nmr data uh, for you and then you can do the boltzmann averaging easily so i'm going to show you uh, in this video how to use that script and then how to uh, get the final uh, shielding tensors and then uh, compare them with the reference standard to uh, get the chemical shifts so first of all have a look at this script uh, here it is for this script to run you should have these different modules installed pylab glob os csv and time so uh, to run this script you definitely i prefer linux uh, because uh, 
that's very easy to use with the script so you can also use it in windows you can simply double click if you have python installed in windows and then uh, uh, if it runs perfectly you can get the uh, nmr data here very easily so i'll just delete this file because it will be generated by the script so let's have a look at uh, windows i didn't try it before but we can do it i hope it, there was an error so I'm not going to install different modules in Windows. I do have access to a Linux machine uh, where you can, uh, uh, I'll, I'll be using this script. So here are all those similar files uh, which are lying on my Linux machine. So you can see that I have uh, all the log files and uh, the script is, if I just do ls double dot, you can see that the script is here, one directory up. So I'll just use it from there. Uh, calling the script is very, very simple. So just write down Python 3 and space, and then you give the name of the script, get an American .py. So if I run it, it will just, uh, go through all the log files and uh, give me the summary at the end. So you can see that uh, it has given me the summary that it has gone through these files and uh, all the work is done, you have asked it to do. So now if I refresh it, uh, you can see that uh, a file will appear here. Yeah, this is the one, NMR results. So if I copy that file to my machine now, I'll just drag and drop here. Uh, I believe you can also use the, uh, the option of installing Ubuntu within Windows, which is called as, uh, I forgot its name, but uh, uh, yeah, Windows subsystem for Linux. So you can use that one as well. But uh, I had a Linux computer, so I just used it via SSH uh, here, and then I run the script over there. So now I have got this Excel file where you can see that uh, I'll just uh, resize these columns so you can have a look more easily. So these are the atom numbers, and then here are the atom symbols. So atom number one is carbon, atom number four is nitrogen, atom number six is a hydrogen. So yeah, it, it gives you all the NMR data. And now these are the compounds, compound names, uh, which were actually the file names. And then we also have a column for their SCF energies. So what I can do is I can just select it. And first of all, I can rearrange these values according to the SCF energies. Um, so if I sort it according to column B, which is the SCF energies, and uh, smallest to largest. Now you see this is the one with minimum energy and then that one and the next one. So now I have another Excel file where I'll just copy these uh, values. So I'll just select all the data. Here it is. And now I'll open this NMR, this Excel file and paste it right here. So I have pasted all this data here, but I just also need to copy the uh, atom numbers and symbols from that file. So I'll just copy them now. So here we go, I'll just copy these and now you can see that there are formulas available which are fixed in this Excel sheet so you don't really need to disturb any of that thing. Uh, the temperature is here, if you change the temperature and during your calculation you can change it and then the value of k is given, partition function is calculated automatically uh, depending on the data. So uh, its value should be 1, which is, uh, which is the best one. So in this k, 
case, it means if its value is 2, it means that the potential energy surface is not represented very, very well. Uh, and two conformers are similar looking. I believe those were the ones which I showed you uh, as number 1 and 2. They, so they have a Boltzmann factor of 1 each and all the others have got 0. But uh, that's just a test case I'm showing you, so you don't worry about these things. Um, now, if you scroll to the right, you can see that these are all the calculations. And then here are the shielding tensors that are Boltzmann averaged for all these uh, atom numbers and their symbols. So now you can simply copy them wherever you want. So for this carbon atom, which is, uh, its uh, number is 1 and its average shielding tensor is 39.69847. Similarly for this one, this, and then similarly, so on. So you can simply copy these shielding tensors and then reference them as I told you already how to reference uh, them with different solvents. If you want to reference them with methanol, ethanol, or whatever you want, you can uh, use these shielding tensors because these are the Boltzmann averaged ones now. So that was all about using these scripts and the Excel files. And for your convenience, I have given this NMR script and this Excel file as well uh, on GitHub. So I'll, I'll give this link in the description of the YouTube video. You can copy it from here and you can open it. And you can see that here is the uh, Excel file and here is the uh, Python script to get the NMR data of all the conformers. I hope you would have liked the video and understood the concept. If you have any questions, uh, you can post in the comments section and I'll try my best to reach you out as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching. If you like, you can share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.